This video will introduce the deflection optimizer, which is a built-in feature of the Space Gas software. The feature is very useful to optimize the structure for deflection. Let's assume you've come up with a preliminary design of a truss model shown on the screen. The span length is 38 meters. Under a considered serviceability load case, the midpoint of the truss deflects so excessively. And you would like to bring the deflection down to only 76 mm vertically, which is equivalent to span length over 500. To reduce the deflection, some of the initial sections will need to change. Consequently, the change will add more weight to the structure. Therefore, our aim is to find out the best possible solution that maximizes the deflection reduction while minimizing the weight increase. Let's go to the Deflection Optimizer tool by right-clicking and choose Def All you need to do is to select the members you want the program to consider to change their sections and decide whether you want some members to be in the same group or not. In this first trial, I will leave all selected member ungrouped. Then select the node that you want to apply the deflection constraint. In this example, I will choose the node in the middle of the truss and then specify the target deflection. I will enter minus 76 mm as the target as I don't want this point to deflect downward more than 76 mm. That's it. The program will come up with the optimal solution based on the input parameters you have specified. At the end of the process, a graph is displayed as shown here. This graph shows how much the structure's weight increase when the deflection reaches the target. There is also a table displaying the initial sections and the final sections that the program has decided to change to. The final shape of the truss looks weird. This is expected because I didn't group members into groups. In other words, each finite element member in the model is free to change its section independent of each other. Let's check the deflection. As you can see here, the deflection is now satisfied with the target deflection of 76 mm. In the next part of the video, I will ask the program to optimize the structure for the same deflection. However, this time, I will group all members of the top chords as a group and all members of the bottom chords as another group and all vertical and diagonal chords as one. As you can see, the program has come up with another solution based on what you have specified. This solution is a much more practical solution, although it is heavier than the previous solution. In the next example, we will optimize a portal frame for multiple deflection constraints. Let's assume under the dead load, load case 1, 
We don't want node 3 to deflect any more than 25 mm downward. And in the wind load, load case 2, we don't want node 4 to deflect any more than 20 mm horizontally. All we need to do, again, is to select the members you want to change. Group them up if necessary. Define the target deflection constraint for each node, and choose the corresponding load case. That's it. The program has come up with an optimal solution that satisfies all the deflection constraints you've specified. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.